Hello. Sorry if I look like crap. I feel like crap. Anyways, hopefully, y'all had a wonderful Thanksgiving. I didn't get to enjoy mine. I was sick. I'm still trying to recover. Not sure what's going on. But I spent most of my time at the toilet. I'm getting sick. Um, was like that from Thanksgiving until that following Sunday. And still trying to recover. Just weak, queasy stomach. I'm still forcing myself to eat. Have been since Thanksgiving. Um, I don't have the flu, so it's just sarcoidose. Symptoms with the queasiness and the getting sick. It sucks, but whatever. It's not much we can do about it. Besides, just deal with it. Um, but thank goodness I had someone here to help take care of me. And at least I was able to finish cooking the turkey and everything. And I think I did enjoy none of it. At least someone did. <sighs> so the food didn't go to waste. Um, what else? Oh, um, went to my doctor and they were talking about putting me on chemotherapy. Um, and he said it was basically my choice because I don't have insurance and it's my body. So after being sick, um, around Thanksgiving, uh, if I was on chemo, that would be a whole lot worse. Um, and so I decided, no. I already have trouble eating as is. I don't need that to be even worse. Where I don't want to eat at all. Because I already have to force myself to eat. Um, still have trouble getting around. Walking to my fridge, bathroom, getting dressed, whatnot. Always sore today. Jeez. That's why I kind of look like crap. Besides, still having a queasy stomach. I woke up in a lot of pain. Feeling like an elephant sat on me. My ribs hurt like crazy. And every once in a while, it hurts to breathe. That's uh, just part being sarcoidose. It's not a fun illness at all. Um, even when I was getting sick, my ribs hurt so bad. I almost started crying. It was very painful. I went wish this disease, even on my worst enemies. Um, it sucks that not enough is known about this illness. And that we're suffering every day and fighting every day to be alive. Um, there's a doctor that has a video on YouTube. I forget his name. But he basically describes sarcoidosis as a very painful, slow death. And it's what it pretty much feels like. Um, some days are better than others. Um, but you're still in pain. Um, muscle spasms and stuff. Today is a horrible day, but it's not one of my worst. My worst day, like I've said in my other videos, is when I had that cold. And I could barely get up off my recliner. And I just go to use the restroom, eat a tiny bit, take my meds, go back to bed. Um, coughing up blood, yeah. I seriously thought I was on my deathbed. It felt like it. Um, that was my worst. I don't ever want to be like that again. Um, getting sick around Thanksgiving, that came really close to that being my one of my worst days too. Um, yeah, this illness just sucks and sucks more that doctors don't 
understand what we're going through and don't listen to us. They just want to assume um, that they know everything and they don't. Um, like with my specialist, I respect him so much and I like him a lot, but I tell him I have trouble breathing, walk into my fridge. I have trouble breathing no matter what, but it's worth getting up, walk into my fridge, go in the bathroom. I'm always in pain. I have muscle spasms. And a lot of us keep getting told by our specialists that, oh, it's because we're big because of the prednisone. Oh, it's not because of sarcoidose. Well, if it wasn't from sarcoidose, how come almost everyone, even in my support groups, have sarcoidosis and we all have the same symptoms. Trouble breathing, trouble getting around, and constantly in pain and muscle spasms. It sucks. Um, I have brain fog, I'm sorry. I know there was more I was gonna talk about, but, well, I go back into my doctor in February and I'm not going to do chemo. I'd rather take my chances with prednisone. Um, yeah, like a lot of people have told me with chemo, um, you don't find or even feel the effects for six months, but it's a lot better. Um, other people that don't have sarcoidose will tell me. Well, at least with chemo, you'll be smaller. I don't really care about my weight. My weight's from prednisone, and at least I'm still here. And I'm not going to take something that's going to make me feel worse than what I already do. There's no way. Because then it might be just too much for me to handle. I'm fighting as it is every day to be here. Um, I'm not going to take the chance of wanting to give up and being suffering even more because what I'm doing, uh, what dealing with now, the pain and the trouble breathing and everything else, it's very draining emotionally, physically, but I'm still here. But it was something that made me feel even worse. There's no telling. And I don't want to chance that. So I'm not going to. Um, you know what you're, what you are willing to deal with and what you're not. Um, so if you are faced with the same choices, prednisone or chemo, um, research and decide for yourself. Um, ask other patients that are on it that have sarcoidosis also, because that will help. Do their own research and go from there. Um, if you don't like it, you can always talk to your doctor by being switched back to prednisone. I really don't want to take that chance because I know me and my body. Um, but I have been moved down to five milligrams of prednisone. Um, if you're on prednisone, you'll realize, yeah, you'll get bigger. Um, just be careful what you take in because prednisone also, before you start taking it, do throw research, um, online, ask people that have sarcoidosis that are on it, um, there are support groups on Facebook that will help you with that. Um, what else? Um, prednisone does have a lot of bad side effects. You'll realize if you're on it, um, if you don't take it around the same time every day, um, you'll start shaking really bad, getting dizzy, um, lightheaded. That sucks. Um, so now I try to make sure... I take it the same time every day, 
If not, I'll take it before the time I usually take it. That's okay too. But if you wait and take it further down, like I take mine in the morning after I have my breakfast slash lunch. <laughs> um, because I have trouble eating, so I only eat once, sometimes twice a day, small little meals. Um, when I first started the prednisone, um, I would have hard boiled egg uh, salads. Cause that's the only thing I could eat. Um, that and I'm when you're first starting on prednisone, you will be feeling like you're starving, and that you can't get enough food. And salads a lot healthier than just putting a lot of junk inside your mouth, inside your body, whatever. Um, Because with prednisone, uh, you can get diabetes. So be extremely careful what you take in. And uh, try to move around as much as possible. I know it's hard with sarcoidose. But you don't want to be where you can't be mobile, period. Um, so with me, I take mine in the morning because it's a lot easier and if I have an appointment in the afternoon or in the morning with my pulmonary specialist I'll eat something real quick and take my meds unless I have the breathing test then I'll take my meds with me and then t just take it there um, or on the way home grab something to eat real quick I cut out fast food a long time ago out of my diet Unless I'm fasting for test results at my pulmonary specialist, then I have another choice. But I found, at least up at Burger King, I don't have as much breathing problems as what I do when we would stop at McDonald's. I would feel like someone was squeezing my lungs. It was horrible. Um, so just... Do a lot of research before you start any meds. Um, it's always the best thing to do anyways and ask around. And like I said, you know your body more than anyone else. So do what's best for you. And hopefully Christmas will be a lot better for me. Um, unless there's a blizzard. Because that's very, very painful. Even though the cold helps make my breathing a lot easier. A lot of us with sarcoidosis have noticed that. Um, but when it, there's a blizzard, it, it's very painful for us. I, a lot of times, just want to curl up in a ball and die. Yeah, last year was horrible. The pain, I can't even describe. It was just horrible. I was in tears. And hopefully this year it's not the same. And hopefully this year I'm not spending the holiday in the bathroom again. Alright, well, happy holidays. And I hope you have a blessed one. Pain-free. Sick-free. And if you haven't already, get your ammonia shot and flu shot. If you have sarcoidosis or any immune deficiency illness. Because just a flu or a cold can kill us and that will at least give you a fighting chance all right god bless you bye